What's up everybody? I'm Landon with LMR.com. In today's video, we'll be talking about Ford Performance's rear spoiler with removable gurney flap designed for the 2015 to 2021 Mustangs, as well as installing one of these spoilers under our 2015 Mustang GT. All right, if you're in the market for a very nice, bold looking rear spoiler for your 2015 to 2021 S550 Mustang, then you should definitely consider this spoiler with removable gurney flap from Ford Performance. So this particular spoiler was the exact same factory option spoiler on the 2019 and 2020 GT350s, the 2021 Mach 1, as well as the GT500s without the carbon fiber track pack. Now, the really good thing about parts from Ford Performance is the quality and the fitment. Being that this spoiler was a factory option on other Mustangs, the overall fit and finish is right on the money. So taking a closer look at this spoiler, you'll immediately notice the gloss black finish and its aggressive styling. Not only does this spoiler look good, but it's also going to increase downforce. Just because of the gloss black paint and finish doesn't mean you have to roll with that. This spoiler can be professionally prepped and painted to your liking. For those of you that are unaware of where your paint coat is, check the driver's side door jam and look at the door tag. You'll find a section that reads EXT, PNT, which is short for exterior paint, followed by the color code. Pre-installed are four T20 torque screws that can be removed if you want to install the optional gurney flap, which is also commonly referred to as a wicker bill. If you do install the gurney flap, make sure you use the four long T20 torque screws that are provided in the kit, along with some blue thread locking compound. The gurney flap adds additional downforce by sharpening the exit angle of the airflow. On the underside of the spoiler, you'll find the four threaded studs, three locating dowels, two outward clips, foam padding, and of course, pre-installed double-sided tape. Unlike cheaper alternative spoiler options, Ford Performance includes a template that makes the installation process very straightforward. Now you will have to cut out the template and tape it to the top of the trunk. Mark the holes and drill them to the correct size as shown on the template. Personally, I like to use a step drill bit for these types of installations as the finished hole is a lot nicer and usually doesn't require any deburring. Now be cautious when using a step bit as you don't want to drill the hole too big or depending on the space between the next panel, you don't want to puncture the next layer of metal. So as far as applications are concerned, this spoiler will fit all 2015 to 2021 Mustangs. And keep in mind, you're replacing an existing spoiler. This new spoiler may or may not cover existing holes. The kit includes a spoiler, gurney flap, mounting hardware, and a very helpful installation template. Now for this video, we'll be installing this spoiler on our 2015 Mustang GT. Before you get started, I would recommend thoroughly washing the car. If you have an existing spoiler, go ahead and remove it and wipe down the area. Open the trunk and locate the push pins retaining the trunk liner. Carefully dislodge all the clips with a plastic pry tool. Rotate the two rubber bumpers counterclockwise and remove them from the trunk. Use a plastic pry tool and carefully dislodge the latch cover. Unclip the emergency trunk release from the liner and then feed it through the opening. The liner can now be removed from the car. Remove the two outward body plugs from the underside of the trunk. Go ahead and close the trunk and cover the trunk from the rearmost edge going forward approximately six inches with painter's tape. This will help protect the trunk and allow you to mark on the tape. Lay out the template on a clean floor or clean workbench and cut away the cross-hatched areas. Make sure the bottom of the paper is clean and lay it on top of the trunk. Align the template along the left and right hand side edges of the trunk. I found that the template did not go all the way to the edges, so you'll have to split the difference and make sure the gap is even on both sides. Align the upper portion of the template with the top of the trunk. Once you feel like the template is good, tape it to the top of the trunk. Be sure and run your hand across the template to make sure it lays flat. Whenever the template is taped to the trunk, double and triple check the alignment. Use a center punch and mark all the locations that need to be drilled. Reference the template for the proper hole size. Carefully remove the template from the trunk and set it aside. If needed, use a permanent marker to mark over the center punched holes so that they are easier to see. I wrote the diameters next to each hole, that way I didn't have to keep referencing the template. 
I would recommend using a high quality stepped drill bit to drill the holes because the finished product is exceptionally better when compared to a twisted drill bit. If you aren't using a stepped bit, make sure you drill an eighth inch pilot hole first before enlarging the hole to the final size. Locate the correct diameter on the step bit and begin drilling. Drill slow and pay attention to how deep the drill bit goes as you don't want to puncture or dent the other layer of metal. If needed, check the hole size with a standard drill bit and make sure it's correct before continuing. Drill all the holes to the correct size. With all the holes drilled, vacuum up any metal shavings and blow the area with compressed air. Test fit the spoiler and correct any fitment issues with the through holes as needed. Carefully remove the painter's tape and make sure there are no metal shavings that made their way back onto the trunk. If needed, carefully deburr the holes. Open the trunk and clean up the metal shavings that fell inside. Make one final pass over this area with compressed air and then close the trunk. Wipe the holes with isopropyl alcohol to prep them for paint. Apply a rust preventative coating or touch-up paint to the exposed metal within each hole. Allow adequate time to dry and then wipe the entire trunk with your alcohol solution to prep the surface for the double-sided tape. Flip over the spoiler and remove the backing from the tape. Install the spoiler onto the trunk and verify that the two outward clips engage into the trunk. Apply approximately 15 pounds of pressure to each section of tape for approximately 30 seconds. Open the trunk and install the provided locking nuts. You can hand tighten these or torque them to 48 inch pounds. Reinstall the rubber plugs, the trunk liner, and its associated components. Close the trunk and install the gurney flap if desired. Remove the four T20 screws that are pre-installed into the spoiler. You must use the long T20 screws when installing the gurney flap. Apply a small amount of blue thread locking compound to the threads. Align the gurney flap and loosely install all of the screws. Hand tighten or torque these screws evenly to 48 inch pounds. If you remove the gurney flap for any reason, make sure to apply a small amount of thread locking compound to the short T20 torque screws and reinstall them back into the spoiler. After that, you're good to go. All right, people, so wrapping things up here. I really enjoy Ford Performance parts and would classify myself as a Ford Performance fanboy simply because their stuff is super legit and I always have a great experience when installing the parts. So we purchased this car back in 2014 and at the time of this video, we've owned the car almost seven years. Throughout that time, we've always talked about putting a spoiler on the car, but we can never find the right one. Well, the day has finally come and our triple yellow 2015 Mustang GT has a spoiler and man, this thing looks really, really good on this car. So if you're in the market for a spoiler for your S550 Mustang, definitely consider the spoiler with removable gurney flap from Ford Performance. As always, for the most up-to-date product information, pricing and availability on anything in the video, please reference the video description and LMR.com. If you like this video or it helped you out, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more S550 Mustang content and turn on notifications. That way you're notified every time we release something new. So until we see you in the next video, you guys know what to do for all things S550 Mustang. Keep it right here with the Real Enthusiasts, LMR.com.